21 Filipino seafarers are now stranded in India on board a shipping vessel. JL Asayo will tell us why in this exclusive report. A picture of seafarers seeking an urgent help was exclusively sent to UNTV News and Rescue. On board in a shipping vessel, MV Evangelica M, the 21 seafarers were holding a banner that says they were abandoned by the owner and have been already spending 102 days since October 3, 2018. Their situation had been made even worse as they have not been receiving their salaries for four months now. Captain Alexander Apao, who's the team leader, shares their story. Na bankrupt na yung kumpanya. Simula dumating kami dito June 23, tapos ng July. Uh, yung June namin nasahod, hindi na dumating doon sa pamilya. And then July, wala na kami matanggap ng mga message sa may-ari. O kaya kahit yung mensahe namin, hindi nila sinasagot. Supplies of food and other necessities have also started to run out. Captain Apao says to continue surviving and saving what is still left, they would ask for some catch whenever local fishermen pass them by. The seafarers are worried over the condition of the families as they have not receiving any compensation for the past four months. Uh, Naga hospital na yon yung nasawa ng chief engineer dahil sa uh, stress doon. E yung isang anak ng sigan engineer na hospital din. E wala silang magawang tulong na pinansyal. Kaya talagang nahirapan sila dito sa pagkaisip sa mga pamilya nila. The DFA is now looking into the reason why the Manning Agency is taking too long to resolve the case. UNTV News and Rescue went to the office of the said agency to ask for more information and update. Although a captain from Human Resources faced the team, he chose not to be interviewed. The DFA assures that it has already taken action immediately after the UNTV News and Rescue brought the matter to their attention. Kakinada is about 1,000 kilometers away from New Delhi, the capital of India, where the Philippine Embassy is located. Despite of this, the DFA has deployed representatives to the area to see the situation of the seafarers. Well, before anything else, I'll papa salamat ako sa UNTV at uh, pinaalam sa amin tong kalagayan ng ating mga seafarers. No? Uh, kanina nagbigay ng utos nung nalaman ni Secretary yung sitwasyon. Uh, ay nagbigay ng instructions sa Office of Migrant Workers Affairs na magpadala ang embassy natin sa India ng mga tao sa Kakada Port para check yung sitwasyon ng ating mga kababayan na seafarers doon. Ano? The DFA also coordinated this case to OWA who in turn will call the attention of the Manning Agency. The DFA said the EVIC Human Resources Management should cooperate in resolving this issue and should be shouldering all the expenses for the repatriation of the seafarers. Investigation will be conducted as well to have the agency face sanctions. Captain Apo's group is hoping that the process will be expedited so they can finally reunite with the families here in the Philippines. JL Asayo, UNTV News and Rescue, Pasay City.